Hello. Hello. We're back. Uh, it's another date night video. Um, we haven't done one in a little while, but today we are going to... Uh, well, we're at, right now we're at Neon Rats, and then we're going to 31K. Uh, what? No, I'm just going to carry on. I don't okay. know if you're going to talk or not. No, I was going to say, so Neon Raptor is one of our favourite little kind of like independent breweries. Um, it's based in Stenton Market in Nottingham. Um, they make all their own beer, and this is their tap room, so we're just kind of sat outside at the tap room. We'll show you around in two seconds. Uh, we'll be back here in a couple of weeks, actually, all through Stenton Avenue's and then this brewery area. and then a couple of other breweries uh, for Nottingham Craft Beer Week um, which we're very much looking forward to yeah I think it's next Saturday yeah something yeah. like that so we'll be back here for that and then we've got a couple of other videos planned in this area as well there's uh, including the weirdest I want to say Japanese but maybe Chinese restaurant slash working men's breakfast place I'm so excited you've ever been to um, all in one building strangest building you'll ever go in we still haven't tried it yet. We've had breakfast there before, but we haven't tried uh, the, its new venture, which seems to be just like it's just it is it's just like a mixture of Chinese. Um, it, I don't really. They have know. sushi. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't. Who knows? Eh? Ooh, um, but yeah, so a quick beer here, which is the start. This is their retro racer, which is their pale ale. It's one of their core range, uh, nice. which I definitely recommend trying. Um, and then we're going to go to thirty-one k for. One of the strangest, well, strangest is the wrong word. One of the most interesting ways of doing a food menu that we've come across. It's and we really cool. enjoy that. It's very cool. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I you think, get to pick what you want. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. We'll explain that later. See you in a bit. Hello. So yes, we're at 31K. Um, see all the signs. We've filmed all the signs. They have the words 31K everywhere, including up there. Um, oh, wobble. Yeah, wobble. Um, I feel like it used to be like a jeweler's or something back in the day, and now that's the old sign. I don't know what it used to be. I don't know. I feel like they found it when they redid the place, and we'll put it. What it used to be. I mean, I, I will try and do some research, but I don't think Tiny Independent Restaurant in Nottingham is going to have too much Wikipedia articles about it. Um, but, like we mentioned before, they do this unique thing with their menu. So, I've probably, I've shown you this already, I'm going to use the B-roll. <laughs> I use the B-roll. Um, so you pick your main, you pick your sauce, you pick your carb, and you pick your greens. And you mix and match as you feel like. So, Ames, what are you going for? I'm going to go. So, we get for catcher. Oh, we do. Yes. We've got some to catch up this restaurant week, so it's a deal. Yeah. So I'm going to go chicken. Yeah. Picanta. Okay. Yes. It is a picanta. Lem I don't know. Lemon, garlic and capers, white wine. Yeah. Sounds fine. Sure. Watercress risotto. Sure. And then green beans or white wave cabbage. I can't make my mind up. I don't know which one will be tastier. I have no idea. This is. Uh, this I is do like I cabbage. We have a lot of green beans, so I might go cabbage. Okay. Yeah. You're holding your microphone like it's a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Clip so. it on. Clip well, no, but then it's, it tickles me, so I don't like it, so I'm going to hold it. Okay. Ames, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> Asahi. Asahi. Why am I laughing? Why are you laughing? Why am I laughing? Because we just what, had this whole conversation. <laughs> we already had this conversation, Martin, and click record. <laughs> So, yeah. So, why are you drinking asahi? Just tasty, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It is the pint of choice. It is our pint of choice. So like I think what you're saying, it, you think it's featured in every single video we've had so far, and it's just like every day now video for some reason it's just the pint of choice. It's just is what it is. Uh, I think since we started dating, it has been the pint of choice. It's just so damn tasty. It's good. It's it's like light. It's not too heavy. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of dryness to it. Yeah. It's, like, it's good times. Asahi, sponsor us. Look, look, look. Again, again. Again. Just like, come on. It's like, just sponsor us, Asahi. We want, we, want, we want your money and you want our endorsement. We do. Do you really want us to switch? Do you want us to switch pints to what something? What switch to? I have no idea. We have the odd pint of mail. Yeah, but I don't feel good about it. No, but we do it. Yeah. It's like I drink a neck oil occasionally, but I don't feel good about it. Oh, no, neck oil is different though, isn't it? Yeah, I feel really basic drinking neck oil. It tastes fine. You can't have more than a pint or two a day. Yeah. 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 I just feel like, I don't know, like new built house Gymshark. 
if they're drinking their Kyle. <laughs> That I person. do actually get what you mean. Yeah. I entirely get what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Fake tan. Frey, crush velvet. Yeah, crush velvet headboard. <laughs> Lads in Ibiza. We're making fun of you, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not that sorry. You're not watching Why our videos. Are you here? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. We're not that sorry. Why are you watching our videos? Thank you. Sweet, thanks very much. Thank you very much for your work. Hello. What do you think? Yes, it is. Well, so far, so good. I've eaten some potatoes. I've had a bit of leek. This dill butter. Very tasty. Haven't dug into the hake yet. Um, it's always good. We've been here it so much. It is very good. It is like, really it's good. the first time we've shown it on video, but we've been here so Quite a lot, time. yeah. We've been here quite a few times. We really enjoy that kind of the uniqueness of the menu, like we mentioned before. Um, just be able to go, okay, cool. Well, next time I might come, I might have the hake again, but I can have a completely different sauce, a completely different carb, and a completely different veg. And it's like a different meal at that point, isn't it? And it's like, yeah, like yeah. good times. Mm -hmm. Good times indeed. What's your saying? I feel like I've gone a bit rogue with the caper sauce with risotto and chicken, but I think it's going to work. Yeah. There's some cabbage over here, chicken, rice, all the tasty things. So. I'm pretty happy. I'm really hungry though because it's like 8.30 which is much later than we usually eat so yeah. oh, I'm going to eat and then we'll that's, get back to you. That's good hate. You love fish. I love fish. Like I do generally love fish but that's good hate. That's really good hate. So yeah. Eat. Uh, eat. Come back to you for dessert. Come back because I'm hungry. Okay. So how was dinner? Oh bang. Like, it was very tasty. I'm generally. really really full. I'm like I'm full because it was really rich, but like so good. Like yeah, that hake was really nice. Like the leek gratin was gratin 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 gratin. Mm -hmm. uh, the leeks. Uh, the leeks were banging. Um, nice cream, uh, cheese on top. Tasty. Um, but what's next, then? No. Is it time for pod? I am a little bit put. A little bit put. A little bit put. Oh, little put's bit over here. Little, little bit put. So I think we're going to get just a chocolate tart. Chocolate ganache tart. I think we're just going to share and one. Sweet poached pears. I love the poached pears. You know what? Everyone talks shit about poached pears. Does everyone talk, so tasty. Does everyone talk shit about poached pears? <laughs> no, really. Who are you hanging out with where everyone's no, talking guess, shit about I, poached pears? <laughs> when I used to work at the pub, we had poached pears as a dessert. Right. And people always used to like really talk smack about the fact that poached pears were a dessert. And I'm like... They're Again, so tasty. How posh was this pub that you were working in? Oh, it was where the pop. topic of conversation no, it was, was all those poached pears with No, it was, it was posh. No, no it was good. Bad. Okay. Nailed it. Okay, sorry, so you just missed that, but like we were the deal the restaurant week was start a main dessert. Yes. But we were too full for dessert. Well, too well, full for two, two desserts. Too full for a dessert each. So we're splitting the tart with the the pears that everyone talks about. But I really about. wanted a tiramisu, but it's too full to shut up when I want pears. <laughs> um, and then we're going to tiramisu to take away. Which I'm going to eat on my work break tomorrow. Sounds like fancy time. Delicious. Yeah. It's very yeah. posh. Yeah. Go, go take it to those people that you talk shit about pears. You leave my pears alone. <laughs> Ames are waiting for our desserts. I'm really full. You're really full. I'm really tired. <laughs> We take a little outside break while we wait for our desserts. And by the way, right, so this is 31K, which is where we are now, is what we're talking about. But they own this place next door as well, which is called Yoke, um, which I can't see a logo of um, to show you, but either way, it's a breakfast spot. And there we go. It is lovely. Like, they do various different types of Benedict? That's it. Yeah, they, yeah. Loads of <laughs> I was like, I was lost there. No, but no, yes. it's all eggs, obviously. It's all eggs. Yes, it's oh. yolk. It's, it's eggs. They do um, a vegan stuff as well, to be fair. Yeah, but they do like a good full English and they do like, well, it's like a modern full English. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, yeah, like three or four different types of eggs, uh, Benedict. So the Florentines and the Royale. The Royale and the, I want to say Napoleon, but oh, I've never I don't think, I, so I think I made that one up. So, yeah, as part of this, they own the both, both places here. But, Apparently they bought Pretty, that place as well. Yes, apparently they bought this place here on the corner as well, but right next to Pogo, which we talked about before. Um, but I don't know what they're doing with it. I've no idea what we're doing there. No. We might ask them when we go inside and we'll find out. 
Desserts. Huh? Desserts. I don't know if I've tried it yet. I tried this bit here. Oh, I got that. Oh, my hair. Good. Yeah. Oh, hair. The pears are banging. The pears are good. Yeah. And there's a tiramisu in the box that we got to take away. We were too full for dessert, so they were kind enough to allow us to... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To take a tiramisu away with That's us. That's going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm doing a split tomorrow, so this is going to be my work break lunch. I like it. Yeah. But we're going to dig into this dessert now, and then we will be with you in two seconds. We're going to eat. Ames. I'm really full. You're really full? I'm really full. Yeah. But how was the food? It was really tasty. It's always really, really good here. I like, I just feel like people don't realize that they still do food or they still think they do meatballs. Like their whole thing started with them doing like different kinds of meatballs. Yes. When they very first opened, yeah. it was kind of like, we do meatballs. Yeah. And, and that was their thing. And they didn't have any extraction. And when you left here, you can smell like meatballs. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. But they um, kept the same system of terms of like you pick your protein your veg your sauce and your, your, your carb. carb like yeah they've had that for a while yeah, now which and really works it does really work and like the menu's changed quite a bit and like we've been before and we've thought so many times like is there a way to make a bad choice on what order you make things um, and i don't think it, like, i genuinely don't think you can make i a bad don't choice. think we have i don't think we have made like a bad choice but we, remember, we spent ages sat there thinking about it once like oh can we make this weird and yeah. nothing could, like there's a few that are a bit odd yes. but like it always works I had capers with my rice and chicken which probably shouldn't work but was still delicious yeah no we've never had a bad one here like I think I think it is designed that way I think yeah. the chefs are good enough that they've designed it that way where you really can't make a bad choice you can make a rogue choice yes you can go um, rogue you could go a bit rogue but like I don't think you can make like, yeah. a bad choice no. at all it, the only not even downside but it is very rich you've got to like yes. it's it's all really rich yeah each individual element is quite rich which isn't necessarily a bad thing no no i don't hate it it's just heavy yeah so you're gonna eat have a nice cocktail and be like i'm so tired now nice cocktail or an asahi hint asahi sponsor us please <laughs> but the cocktails here we haven't had one tonight but the cocktails here are no, also the cocktails really tasty here are, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I like, remember, what's their main one that's really tasty? The one with the raspberry on it. Can't remember. No, I can't remember. It's it's a it's long something. one. It'll be in the long section and probably sweet. It's the light love, potion, love potion. Love, love potion. Love potion number nine. That's, yeah, that's their one that like. Oh, it's basically a French martini. Is that what it is? I know it's, it tastes delicious. I thought it was gin. No, it's vodka. Oh, it's a vodka. Mango vodka. So it's a French martini with mango vodka, basically. But yeah, that's a really but the cocktails here drink. are very tasty. Yeah. They've got a big selection. The only that I had here last time was really good. C. Uh, and it's two for one Sunday through Thursday. They're, no, not all of them. They're set ones. But... No, set ones. But... Oh, they've changed it again. Yeah. Bloody Mary's here. Incredible. Just so you know. Yeah, everyone loves the Bloody Mary's here. But, but they I... are... you don't like Bloody Mary's. I fucking hate Bloody Mary's. I love a Bloody Mary. I want to drink my food. I want to drink some... Do I want to drink, want a... Want a... Want drink a pizza? I want to drink vodka soup. I don't want to drink a pizza. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like... Saying that, when we were at Double Chicken Please in New York, they had you did the, drink the pizza. We had a cold pizza there, and that was banging. <laughs> that was a great cocktail. That was a bit but, like a martini, wasn't it? A bit kind of yeah. yeah. It was almost like a porn star martini. It was quite fruity and quite thick. Um, Ooh. Sorry. Nice, nice hiccup. Um, but now I hate Bloody Marys with a passion. No, I love Bloody I Marys. Them. And when we went to New York, like me and Rosie were on the way to the uh, in the airport, like. Bloody Mary, I'm like, oh, Bloody Mary, and then it was a shit Bloody Mary. No, yeah, no, it was a shit Bloody Mary. Yeah, it was whatever that random pub we were in, in, yeah. in Heathrow, which was Heathrow like, Spoon. Heathrow before you get through the terminal as well. Yeah, so it's super it wasn't random. even like this. It wasn't even through the terminal. No. Heathrow. This was pub before the terminal, uh, before security, um, which was just. But obviously, you're in an airport and it's nine in the morning, so there's no rules. The rules. There's no drinking rules. No, the absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's the rule. That's the rule. You can drink whenever. The time doesn't exist. The rule so. is there. No, no, but the rule is there on it. Rules. Exactly. Either way, right? So another date night, yeah. done and dusted. You should definitely come here. I love um, this place. Oh, They're really also do. really lovely. It's another little independent place. Like yeah, all the stuff is dead nice. Yeah, and like dead hipster, but they're dead nice. Um, <laughs> and yeah, definitely come here. We will see you 
Next week, Kusha. Just oh. choking slightly. Good. Next week's Kusha. Okay, so we're filming next week in Kushia, which, which is arguably Nottingham's best restaurant. Yeah, uh, we've just reckon we've, we've talked about it quite a few times. Yeah, uh, Gordon Ramsay's just been there for lunch recently and taken lovely photos with the team. Um, but we're going there on Thursday next week, um, so we will post about that. Then yeah. we're doing Nottingham Craft Beer Festival on the Saturday, yeah. so we will post about that as yeah. well. Um, and go from there. Yeah, back soon. Have fun, Bye. like, share, subscribe, etc. Do you still feel icky saying that? Yeah, a little bit. I'm just going <laughs> to high-five the camera and pretend like nothing happened.